a no justice family so this is just some information that I'm bringing to you if you have heard okay you're you're gonna be reminded if you haven't well here it is so you know in our new world now where you have COVID-19 circulating um, pharmaceutical companies have promised that they're gonna make this more regular and normal so um, I'll put this this article or any other article in the description box as well so this article it's from pharma time pharmacy times it says CDC Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices voted in favor 13 to 1. So this is ASIP, right? Of the universal recommendation for the use of the 2023-2024 monovalent XBB containing COVID-19 vaccines authorized via emergency use authorization EUA or approved by biologics license applications after the vote the CDC endorsed the ACIP decision All right so I'm guessing that would be uh, Moderna and Pfizer because um, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson is not uh, in circulation anymore this article also says that Novavax is pleased that decision that discussions at ACIP meeting showed broad support for COVID vaccination this season via a universal recommendation and highlighted the urgent need for protein based option. All right. So just bringing you up to speed here in terms of um, what is going on, of course, you know, I'm supposed to remind you that the shots that they are recommended, it is safe and effective. It is safe and effective. And um, uh, the benefits outweigh the risk, right? And uh, you must consult your doctors, okay? And go with the recommendation of the FDA and the CDC all right so this is your updated shot that you need to get all right and it is safe and effective just wanted to remind you of that so that um, no one is gonna accuse me of saying uh, something different but more shots more shots are coming and more shots are available for you right and they are safe and effective check the description box I'll put the articles in there all right take care of yourself stay woke stay red